Today, we're looking at this awesome goggle from DJI, the N3. Comparing it to the Oculus Quest 3, you can see how much compact this thing really is and much, much lighter. Here, you got the goggle in front and then the battery in the back. Just in case you're curious, the battery is not detachable. Here's the plug for it from the back running all the way to the front on the left hand side. As far as I can tell, I cannot unplug this whatsoever. So if you ever run out of battery, run out of power, you just have to connect it to a USB-C port right here. There's no way for you to just pop a new battery in for instance. Next to it is the micro SD card. I'm told that you can put movies on there and watch it like a movie theater mode. I don't know, we'll try later. On the right hand side, you got the power button. To power it up, all you have to do is press, release, and press and hold. Pretty typical of all DJI products I've ever used. Right now that it's on, here's the back button. And this is the joystick where you can move it up, down, left, right. And press it straight down to confirm selection on the screen. No other buttons whatsoever. Optionally, there is the loop on the front and in the back. That way you can use Velcro strap to wrap it around your head for a more comfortable feel. This thing is super lightweight though, compared to the Oculus Quest. So overall, you really don't need this uh, head loop on the top. And even if you want one, the strap is not included. In the box, it's just this DJI goggle and a small manual. There is absolutely nothing else, not even USB-C charging cable. Oh yeah, if you're curious if you can output this to HDMI, and the answer is no. Check this out. I got the USB-C to HDMI, to HDMI capture adapter, and then back to USB. I tried to put this into my laptop and it does not work. I try to put it on my TV with this HDMI right here, and it doesn't work as well. So it's kind of a shame that DJI does not let you do it. I believe the Pro model will let you do HDMI out, but for this N3 goggle, no such option exists. Now just for a quick size comparison, here's a 13-inch laptop from Dell, and this is the headset. Just flip the antenna out. There's only two of them, one on the left and one on the right hand side. In the back, there's the adjustment dial knob. If you want a tight fit, spin clockwise. If you want to loosen, spin counterclockwise. I guess you can always emergency release if you want it. Because this is all Velcro, just release it like that and now it's out. Since I can't HDMI out to the laptop to record, I'll just have to use the action camera and stick it into the goggle. When you first boot it up, it will ask you for your language. So let's go to English. Use the direction to go over to next. It's showing you how to wear the headband, very obvious. Click on next. Next, there's some very basic tutorial. But now you are faced with this option right here to connect it to your mobile phone. Otherwise, this headset does absolutely nothing. I mean, I can press whatever button I want, but then it will just come back to the screen right here. So now it's time to go to our DJI app on phone or tablet. To complete setup, head on over to your phone or tablet, download the DJI Fly app. On Android, you have to download the APK as seen here. Download it and install it manually via the APK file. It is possible that you might already have the Fly app installed. Myself, I got it just because I needed it to fly the Mavic Air 2S. So if you do already have it installed on your phone or tablet, make sure the app is up to date. Otherwise, the N3 will not work. And that's what I have to do, by the way. Update it, my DJI Fly app. All right, now use the USB-C to USB-C cable. One end of the USB-C goes into the headset, 
and the other end goes into the phone or tablet. If all works, then it should pop up this right here, and then click on Agree. You really don't have a choice. Click on Done. Do you want to download the firmware for your goggles? Sure, why not? Click on Downloads. Click on Connect. Click on OK. There is no aircraft at the moment, so we're just going to click on Back. Click on X, and we're done for now. In the next video, we'll be connecting this goggle to a FlyWoo FPV quadcopter with the DJI 04 unit. This is what you should see once you're done with setup using the app. Push up on the joystick if you want to view some of the settings. Press back button to go back. Push down on the joystick to open some other settings. Click on back. Push to the right of the joystick to open more menus. I promise we'll be going over these options later on when we connect this to the O4 unit. Now, just for fun, we put a micro SD card loaded with MP4 files. So let's go into the menu and go down to album. Here you can see the movie that I loaded up onto the SD card. This is actually an MKV file by the way, but I renamed the extension to MP4. Unfortunately, there is no sound. I try using the USB-C to headphone jack, but that does not work. It's kind of a shame, right? I mean, wouldn't it be nice if DJI let us watch movies with sound? This would be so amazing to watch movies just because this goggle is a lot lighter than the Quest 3. Your only option is using a joystick so that you can move around in the video's timeline, but that's about it. Alright, hopefully you found this video on the DJI N3 goggle helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.